What's good YouTube? Welcome to episode 1 of Automating an Empire. This series will focus on automating as much as possible to build ourselves the largest empire we can. We will be using Build and Repair, Pam, and many, many, many other mods. The mod list will be in the description and will continue to update as we add to the series. Any ships we build will also be added to the list as we build them. We'll be using many mods attached to the planetary installation package as well as we will be using piracy and gathering to achieve our goals. The aim of this, the first episode, will be to establish our base and begin mining. So let's get started. All right, so I need to hop in here. So the first thing we need to do, uh, I'm using, looks like a, a new mod to give you a different ship. I didn't realize this was in the mod list, but we'll run with this anyway. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find us a place for our base and rover our way over to get started. Uh, I wanna find a place that's got some decent resources here. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for to start with. I'm just basically riding, flying around just for a second and seeing if I can find any resources. Looks like we've gotten into a pretty flat little area here. This will be nice. I want to build into a mountain for this uh, series. So I believe this is a really good place to start if I can find any resources nearby. The number one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start digging into the mountain and getting ready for that setup today. See what we have here in our rover. We have, looks like a survival st uh, station. We have, let's see, I need to grab some hydrogen, grab my gun and my weapons. Uh-oh, looks like our rover's trying to get away from us here. Let's hit the parking brake here. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and create our GPS marker here and we are going to fly around and look for some resources real quick. So I'm just gonna fly up. That way we'll just ride over to the resources. Hopefully we can find some pretty close to where we're at because I do like this area for the type of base that I want to build. We do have quite a few mods added to increase the, the amount of stuff that comes after. So we'll probably end up getting bombarded for most of the series. That's for two reasons. Uh, the number one reason is it's fun to attack. Uh, I kind of enjoy doing the piracy if you haven't noticed with the other series that I've done but I also want to set it up to where we're getting a lot of resources really quickly along with our automation. So I'll be using Pam to automatically go get all of our resources and stuff like that. I will be using 3D printers. I'll be using all kinds of things. There's a couple scripts that I've found that will allow us to make really cool uh, 3D printers, which we will be setting up as soon as possible so we can print off our ships and stuff like that. I will be taking all of the ships that we make, like I said, that we make here, and we will be creating a workshop item for it. Okay, I need to mark this real quick. Looks like we might be going after boulders in the beginning. Nice, we've already got us a transport courier and we just got started. I've gotten two boulders marked so far. I don't really see any actual resources through here, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start digging into the ground anyway. I like this space. This is a good pl place for us to be, I think. So let's go ahead and see how we can modify this rover real quick. All right, so we do have progression cut off now. So I need to go on and grab some construction components here. Is that all I'm gonna need? No, I'm gonna need more things than that. So let's see, is there anything here with construction components? Yes, these lights should have them. I need one motor and that should be enough. What can I get rid of a motor on? We're not gonna be using the parachute anymore, so we can go ahead and grab the motor off of that. Make sure that this is going to actually work here. I believe so, that should be connected to everything. Okay, so I'm adding a drill as well. I want to drill my way directly into the mountain here, so that's <clears throat> what I'm working on at the moment. And in order to complete the drill, I'm going to need one motor, four large steel tubes, and some construction components. The only thing I think I can't make right now is the large steel tubes. Uh, let's check. Nope. I can't make those, so we're going to have to salvage them from somewhere. We can grab one from the spotlight here. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need the gyroscopes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the tubes out of them. I think there's one more gyroscope left if I can tell correctly 
All right, so we're going to need one more and uh, ten more construction components, which if we need to, we can actually make the construction components. I found a gyroscope down on this side on the up. Yeah, there we go. That's That should be everything, actually. Uh, five more construction components. So we're going to go ahead and just dig for that real quick. Okay, so while that's working, I'm going to go grab this unknown signal because we're definitely going to want to use what's on it. What did we get? Mm -hmm. Anything good? Yeah. And badger suit. Ah. Uh, those seem to be pretty uh, common, actually. Okay, we've got that all ground down. It's time to do the drill now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to drive this drill straight into the mountain. Hopefully, we won't go all weird and catty-cornered or anything like that. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to have to do something a little strange here, so let me grab some steel plates here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually built a scaffolding that aligns with gravity here. So we can drive up onto the scaffolding and dig from there. We're going to have to kind of move it along the way as we go. That's not that big of a deal. Alright, so it looks like we're doing alright. I'm right click mining into the side of the mountain here. That way we can make it through pretty easily. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna ha Basically I'm having to get out every couple blocks and just make a scaffolding so it goes straight and then right click mining my way through. I've got steel plates queued up as we work so that's always a good thing. Looks like we're getting pretty low on them so I think this will be our little entrance area here. Every time I run out of rock, all I have to do is drive forward and left click mine <clears throat> for just a few seconds. Looks as though our drill is not connected here, so we're going to have to figure something out to connect it up. Uh, for now, we'll just transfer everything manually. Okay, we have power on the base now, so all I need to do is create a basic assembler and a basic refinery. Which, I already have the uh, refinery on my bar. I want to set this up with a drill system that's actually working inside here. So, that's going to be the next thing we work on after this. Okay, so we got our basic assembler done here. I'm going to face this to the side here because I actually have a plan. I'm going to run a drill directly off of the basic refinery since it's got two out or input outputs. I'm going to run the drill off of that and just drill straight through, uh, base drill. So that's basically how I'm getting it set up now. I've got most of the stuff done for this, but uh, not all of it. I still need, I believe, the steel plates. They're still being made as we speak, so I will get those done real quick. Alright, so we got our refinery done. I've got the one by one piston as well. That's what I'm putting in here to start with. I'm going to start out with the one by one, then I'm going to go with the regular piston, and I've also got the extended piston. So we're going to basically just use the drill to drill out our spot in here. And as we get bigger and bigger, we'll actually have more and more room and we can expand. And that's how we're going to get our resources is just have the drill do all the work for us. I think that's the best way to do it, especially if we're concentrating on automation for this series. So now it's time to actually start dumping some of the stuff into here. Alright, so our drill is actually completed to the point to where it'll work. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on real quick and start drilling through. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I think this is a really good spot. This is exactly where we wanted to be and we will actually get this piston running. Thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you haven't already, think about dropping a like to let me know that you did. In the next episode, we'll concentrate on automating some more drills and getting a little bit more of the hangar bay here drilled out and ready to go. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, how about hitting that subscribe button and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you like what you see and you want to see more, go on and click one of the two videos on your screen now. Thank you. Have a nice day.